Hello again my friends, it's time for another hit of news straight into your pulsating little vein. New unique Nightfall loot, new ways to earn Iron Banner gear, a brand new activity, new routes to power progression and heaps more. Like I said, news coming at you like a body snatcher. Let's effing go Famathy. <laughs> My boy DMG confirmed that there's unique Nightfall loot for the two new Warmind strikes Strange Terrain and Will of the Thousands when they're featured as the Nightfall. Now this rocket launcher Braytek Osprey is the unique loot that has a chance of dropping when you complete the Strange Terrain Nightfall. It's got cluster bombs. <laughs> Iron Banner is back and this time it's season 3 which means new stuff to talk about so you know let's talk about it. So Lord Saladin now offers new ways to earn Iron Banner loot. As you rank up your banner reputation you unlock items in his stock. Now if you want the new Iron Banner emblem and ship for example you're gonna have to grind for it. I know tis a novel concept indeed. And here's a cheeky sneak peek of the season 3 Iron Banner weapons. Lots of new guns. Insert your own Donald Glover meme here. And here's the new season 3 Iron Banner ornaments. Very silver and very shiny and in case you didn't already know you can see exactly what objectives you have to complete to unlock all five season three ornaments so let's have a look at them for the season three iron banner helmet ornament it says here that you need to reach rank 25 and win 25 matches for the gauntlets you'll need to reach rank 15 and complete iron banner challenges for the chest armor you're going to need to reach rank 20 and get 100 power weapon kills now guys what power weapons do you favor for this challenge let me know in the comment section below for the leg armor you're gonna need to reach rank 10 and get 100 super kills okay bungo okay we get it you're giving us some grindage i like it let's effing go and for the class item you're gonna simply have to reach rank 5 this season so yeah like i said lots of grinding to do and you know what i'm happy with that bring on the effing grind so then iron banner season 3 begins tuesday may 22nd ends tuesday may 29th and the game mode is gonna be control just the way i like it Heads up Guardians, there's a brand new activity coming your way and it's called Arms Week. A cheeky search on Bungie's official site reveals this info. Train with limitations and a real fight will set you free. That's a quote from good old Shaxi Poo. So then it says your arsenal is restricted for a greater challenge. Use the prescribed loadout but let no other constraints stop your rampage. So yeah, you've got to complete nightfalls and strikes with fixed loadouts for tasty loot. Exotic masterwork loot to be precise. And we all love a good old masterwork. So then Bungie's site contains details for three Arms Week Nightfalls. For the Prospector, you need to shut down the operations of an Ironmonger, providing weapons to the Red Legion. Do this and you'll upgrade the Prospector's Masterwork, which increases its blast radius and ammo reserves. For the Hardlight, you need to delve deep into the hive-infested Arcology in search of missing fire teams. If you're successful, you'll upgrade the Hardlight Masterwork, which gives this weapon increased stability. And for the Rat King, again it says you need to delve deep into the hive-infested Arcology. Do this and Rat King gets a brand new perk called Infestation, which improves this sidearm's aim assist and recoil direction and also refreshes your health when you trigger the weapon's vermin invisibility perk. Now for Arms Week Strikes, you'll be launched into a random Destiny 2 or Curse of Osiris strike which will require a specific weapon loadout. <laughs> Bungie's latest weekly update has some very interesting things to say about Warmind's power progression system. The studio is quite frankly not very happy with it. Here's what Bungie had to say. The Warmind progression system is an improvement over Curse of Osiris but still not where we ultimately want it to be. Here are some of the top power progression related issues we're thinking about right now. First up, how to smooth out the transition into the end game grind once the campaign is over. Currently, there is a brick wall players seem to be running into at 345 where progression goes from fast to super slow. This is one one of those areas we definitely don't believe is perfect so we're looking at how to smooth this transition out. Next up milestones. Once milestones are complete there simply aren't rewards to chase. Exotic masterworks and seasonal ranks help this problem a little bit but these definitely aren't enough. Weapon randomization and records that are coming in September should also help give players more to do once their milestones are done. But that doesn't mean we believe this is a fully solved problem and we're talking about other ways to help improve this. Now Bungie goes on to say endgame progression needs more tiers to allow players to gradually and smoothly 
boost their power level. And finally, the quality of the rewards don't always match the difficulty of the activity. We're seeing a lot of this feedback around raid layer rewards in particular, so expect these kind of rewards to improve in the future. So yeah, Bungie has acknowledged that the game's current power progression system is, well, not particularly enjoyable or well implemented. It's nice to hear this is something the studio is working on for the September expansion, however, you'll be pleased to know that some changes are coming as soon as May 29th when the game's next update drops, so let's have a look at them. So then, on May 29th, Heroic Strikes will drop better rewards. Every 3-5 to five Heroic Strikes will drop a legendary item that will help carry you up to 360 power, 365 when you add a legendary mod. Heroic Strikes can be quite challenging, so it's nice to see the rewards match the difficulty, and this will also help solo players have a more reliable source for upgrades. Next up, Rasputin Key Fragments will become a 100% drop chance from each Heroic Strike. Bungie made this change to help make getting these fragments easier and to help Heroic Strikes feel like a worthy grind. Now just in case you didn't know, you can exchange 7 Rasputin Key Fragments for an encrypted cash key that allows you to open the chest that drops when you complete the Wave 7 Escalation Protocol boss. Next up, Bungie answered a few frequently asked questions that players had about the new seasonal PvP ranking systems for Valor and Glory. When asked why players are sometimes placed in a game in progress that is impossible to win, thus ending that player's streak, here's how Bungie replied. There's no join in progress in competitive, so this can't happen for Glory. However, we are working on a fix for Valor, so you won't lose your Valor streak that way. And when asked why Bungie won't make a solo queue only playlist, here's what the studio said. We don't want to do that because it would split the population in an unhealthy way, making it less likely for everyone to find good matches. Furthermore, that would probably mean splitting the Glory rank into solo Glory and team Glory numbers, and we'd much rather there be one single number to represent your prowess in the Crucible. Bungie has identified two major Warmind bugs and how players can overcome them until an official fix is implemented. The first bug concerns your clan XP engram which is supposed to drop powerful gear but doesn't. So until Bungie fixes this, do not decrypt your engram with Hawthorne instead, wait for it to auto decrypt at weekly reset and pick up the powerful gear from your inventory. Next up, many players are reporting that completing heroic strikes will sometimes not progress their weekly milestone. Well according to Bungie, this only happens to players who activate a boon of the vanguard before they enter a heroic strike. So yeah, don't activate a boon of the vanguard if you need to progress your heroic strike weekly milestone or end game quest. Otherwise, feel free. Okay, so now it's time for my favourite part of the video, that sweet precious loot. Yes, I've got some more luminous engrams to open, this time for my warlock. Hopefully I can move him up some power levels. So Cade, you sarky robo douche, what have you got for me? Let's open this up, a booyaxi shaxi. What have we got? We got some boots. Now, did those boots drop higher? Let's have a little look. Yes, they did. I'm going to infuse them into these, and hopefully that'll move me up just a little bit. Let's do that. A Booyaxi 362. Nice. That actually moved me up a power level already, which is pretty damn decent. This dropped at 357, uh, so I can't do anything with that at the moment, so let's move the F on. Okay, Zavala, you bald awoken beauty, what have you got for Papa Console? Let's open this up and have a little look. We got Prometheus Lens, um, but did that drop at a highlight level? We'll look in just a moment. Now, let's see what the chest dropped at. 359, that'll do nicely. Let us now infuse that a Booyaxi Shaxi 364. I'm actually moved up to 360 already. Two light levels in a space of a very short time. Or should I say power levels? Yes, I'm a Destiny 1 player through and through. So what did Prometheus Lens drop at? That dropped at 364. Okay, so let's open Zavala's second Luminous Engram. What have you got for me? Let's have a little look-see. We got Gauntlets and we got an Energy Weapon. So let's have a look at the Gauntlets first. I would like this to have dropped higher. Excellent. I'm going to infuse those into one of my favourite exotics in the game. This is such a beast exotic. I absolutely love it. That's brought it up to 365, and we are now 361. We are moving up the power levels hardcore. I'm loving that. So what have we got here? We have a hand cannon that dropped at 360, which means I should be able to infuse that into this hand cannon. Yes, I effing well can. There we go. That's now 365. We are moving on up pretty decently now. 362. Excellent progression. So let us now move on to Lord Shaxi Plops. Oh, Lord Shaxi Poo, you one horned bastard. You've got a little gift for me I see. Thank you. I'm here for my luminous engram, but this will do. Let's see what this actually is. We got some crucible tokens. Now to open what I actually came here for, which is the luminous crucible engram. Shaxi poo. What have you got for Papa Console? Good 
God, we have a masterwork Better Devils. Can it get any better than that? F me. I've already got one, but what did this one drop at? 360. That means I won't be able to infuse it into this. However, if I pop in a uh, legendary mod, that'll make it 365. So it's on par with my current Better Devils. Now let's see what the actual bonus stat for this is, because that, that always interests me. Let's have a look. 5 stability. What does my current um, Better Devils got? It's got plus magazine okay so that's interesting to know so what did this actually drop as 360 let's pop that into this let's get my light level up even more power level should i say i cannot help myself and look we are we are we are moving up very nicely indeed that was actually a pretty decent loot haul so i'm very happy with that excellent and that my dear friends brings us to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a cheeky thumbs up and guys if you want to watch another news pack destiny 2 video a video that talks about brand new items and the kind of content you can expect in the september expansion click this image like i said thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content and thank you so much for watching. And as always, her TFing he. Until next time, Guardians.